A humanitarian catastrophe has developed on the island of Erland, given that we have cut off a supply in the Baltic over almost a, actually a, exactly a hundred allied divisions have been stuck on the island without food and supplies, except for what could be smuggled by local fishermen. Uh, the ships in the area are no longer combat effective, so we have sent the uh, Wambola and the Lenok, which currently uh, combine, uh, which currently combined represent the first battle group of the Imperial Battle Fleet. I know it's a grandiose name, but we're working on it. And we have uh, some relief in, uh, in the form of the three mechanized naval divisions. And we will, uh, actually, uh, we will actually send these and uh, make sure no, I, don't, I don't activate uh, activate all of them. Yeah, I just want this one. Okay, so off, uh, I might actually just add ah, to it's okay. There's not going to be any there's not going to be any air here either because from where there's no airport. So let's get the ships across and uh, make sure that we relieve the Oh, I need, I need to send these on uh, naval invasion support. There we go. We'll get the ships across and then we will ensure that we will relieve that uh, that situation. Uh, okay, we have insufficient naval supremacy. That is surprising because... Oh, because they haven't been assigned. That's why. Okay, there we go. And now we should have... There, okay. And now we are literally in combat against uh, the starving divisions on the coastline, but it's not going to be an awful lot that they're going to be doing here. Most of them have surrendered without a fight. And uh, we will see... Yeah, that was about a million men that were stuck on Erland for way too long. So uh, definitely something that... Oh, the naval invasion in Norway, that'd be the Americans. Yep, there they are. Okay, I'll deal with that. Uh, I'll deal with that off screen. But uh, more interestingly enough, we are going to we are going to plan a new naval invasion from here to also uh, relieve uh, the island of Gotland. Now that we're at it, and no, I do not wish to have all of these divisions on that. I only wish to have these divisions on it. There we go. Up to Gotland. Uh, Western three divisions. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we'll we'll plan that and we will uh, we'll move the. Oh well, we've got the Imperial battle fle fleet ready here, so uh, we can get going. Yeah, the the ships are floating harmlessly around. So uh, well, that. <laughs> Where was it? I want to see that again. There we go. Yeah. Um, not much left in terms of equipment. They have mostly just surrendered at this point because uh, years or months and years, even years of neglect have caused that. Uh, we'll clean up the Baltics. Then we can uh, remove all the uh, coastal uh, protection divisions here, and uh, then we can then we can resume the uh, the eastern flank offensive after we have liberated Italy, and uh, we will also take uh, take on Yugoslavia, Romania, and then clean up the rest here. All right, uh, we are ready. The, we have naval supremacy towards uh, Gotland, so we can absolutely get the... Come on. Okay. Uh, there we go. I had to select the general. Uh, we get the next naval invasion going towards uh, Gotland. Putting to sea. The destroyers are uh, the destroyers are escorting the transports. That said, uh, there is no ship remaining of the enemy in the Baltic that uh, can challenge us. So, off we go, and uh, we will s we will take over Gotland. That'll also remove the last remaining possible uh, air capacity uh, because Sweden still has uh, a government here. What do they have here? Oh, that's not going to stand. Uh, these divisions, given that Gotland is where the Swedish government has escaped to, are actually relatively capable. So uh, the Swedes are dug in very well here, but uh, they don't have a chance against the mechanized landing troops. And uh, we will wipe out the remaining uh, the remaining troops here, and then uh, we'll take on the last position, which I think is uh, in, I hope I pronounced that correctly, Sjelland. 
All right, that's that. So that's the Swedish government in exile taken care of. And then we can plan a uh, naval invasion towards Sjelland and get these three divisions once they are in place. Get these th three divisions on here. Uh, I would like you to remain here, please. Okay. So... Uh, plan that and we will move the two destroyers uh, there we again see the the ships sailing around we will move these through destroyers uh, into the port at Scania and they will be uh, they will be assigned to naval invasion support okay all right that's on the way and that's the last uh, that's the last position that uh, that they can possibly that they can possibly cause any kind of trouble from and then we have uh, cleaned up the baltics in in its completeness the allied the allies are sending uh, are sending assaults uh, across the lines here but uh, it's it's minor things captured a french operative talking about operatives we have uh, we have um, positioned our operative, two of our operatives now in Yugoslavia to start uh, to start determining uh, what's the sta what's the situation on the ground, and uh, the other two are still uh, working on uh, resistance. But overall, the resistance is in a much much better state, and uh, hopefully that'll be somewhat stable. With uh, two operatives here, just making sure that any kind of re resistance leaders are found and taken care of. And we are launching the final invasion. We'll see how many Allied troops are remaining here in the Baltic, but this should be the last of them. And uh, then we have finally tied up this particular loose end. Uh, it looks like the Italians have, uh, while we were we were busy here, the Italians have lost Palermo to an American naval invasion, to nobody's great surprise, probably coming from outside North Africa. So uh, we might send the uh, we might send the river assault divisions there next to clear that up. Uh, there are just 15 divisions here that are also relatively starved. So most of them have surrendered after a brief period of resistance. And the last Allied bastion in the in the Baltics has been cleared, which me which means that uh, with these 166,000 surrendered, we can now release the uh, release the naval restrictions when it comes to uh, when it comes to Baltic access and um, we'll just try to keep uh, keep our keep our convoys out of the North Sea and the English Channel but uh, other than that we are relatively free again and we can return the uh, we can return the uh, the battle fleet to their home port in Trondheim so I will send them over here. Oh, can't we get through? Possibly not. Oh, we'll, we'll sort it out. I have cleared up uh, most of the positions. Uh, the homeland defense has been reduced somewhat. And uh, most of the 6th army is getting positioned around the, the uh, areas in northern Norway where we could see American naval invasions coming through the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, uh, again, uh, significant attacks along the front lines, they're just not getting anywhere. So I think it's about time that we start taking on Yugoslavia. And I think the first break is uh, through uh, Ljubljana towards the coast with the tanks. This is all hilly territory, so we can still operate with the tanks here. And uh, we do have some uh, mountain specialists in the back to take things on. But first, uh, we'll, we'll, get the, we'll get the Air Force up and ready. There shouldn't be an awful lot of Allied Air Force remaining in the area, depending on how many how many airports they can actually bring to bear. So let's get uh, let's get that challenged for now. And while we are building up our mission efficiency here, uh, we should be able to let's see if we can get that a little higher. Uh, we should be able to shoot these down without too much trouble. Yeah, that looks relatively decent. Uh, okay, I'm happy with that. Let's begin the assault. We get, uh, we'll concentrate six tank divisions on uh, the push through Jubiljana. That'll, that will, um, actually we don't have the, the upper three can't reach that. Okay, in that case, uh, just break through the, the remaining divisions here. 
and help with uh, encircling everything. This is Hungary. Okay, so we can get three uh, three tank divisions to to push north effectively and take Zagreb and then close it up at the border, and we'll get the other we get the other uh, we get the other side to push towards Rijeka and uh, cut them off in the south. And with uh, we we've got the we've got them uh, all six mountain divisions now in uh, in in good position to uh, dealing with this uh, this situation. Italy tends to uh, has a tendency to get naval invaded. I do have the I do have the three specialist divisions here. We'll give that a try in a minute. But for now, the air force is busy over Yugoslavia, and uh, we are getting challenged in the air, obviously. But it looks like mostly by older planes, so. Uh, our forces don't have too much trouble shooting those down, and uh, tank divisions have already taken uh, taken Rijeka. So let's just clean up the uh, let's just clean up the encirclement here, and see if we can uh, if we can push through in the north as well and uh, and encircle the northern wing of the Allied defenders. And from there on, it should be relatively smooth sailing. Uh, just a couple of troops that we have pushed out are uh, in fact. Uh, remaining that are capable of uh, of challenging us, but we should be able to take Zagreb relatively soon. And uh, let me get get some assistance here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Zagreb uh, Zagreb is taken, and we will be closing the we'll be closing the trap in the north, and that should be the majority of the. Uh, with the Western Front, uh, and we are taking territory, I believe, for Germany and Italy. I'm not sure. Are we taking territory for Italy here or for Germany? I uh, will. We'll figure it out. Uh, these divisions here are now encircled. The United States have decrypted our cipher as usual, but uh, let's clean that up and make sure that we are pushing through in the north. We have done so. So now we will just push them off, uh, push them back here, and circle those, and then the rest can. Okay, can we finish these off, please? And then the rest. Uh, then we'll uh, we'll we'll take an have another go. There might be more Allied divisions around here that they're pulling off the other flank from Czechoslovakia. I don't mind that because fighting up there is actually relatively uh, relatively difficult given the. Uh, given the amount of uh, okay, there we go. Overrun some divisions here, and now uh, I know it's a cross river attack, which is less than ideal. But uh, and a British operative. We've captured a lot of operatives recently, but I think we have uh, I think we have uh, forced the river crossing mostly. Let's see. We've got another tank division here. We can send and. We can already attack on the other side as well. Ah, we've, we've taken it already. Never mind. All good. All done. So those were relatively heavy losses again for the Allies. They really don't stand much of a chance in the face of the uh, of the first army divisions. Let's get uh, well. We get everybody back to their front lines and re-established. Uh, let us. Um, Let's plan the next move and let's actually get the uh, let's get the third army divisions in place in uh, the central area, and they can uh, their task is to to take the mountain range. So I am tempted to just use my uh, to just use my tanks to push along the northern plains. And uh, again, do another uh, just along the river line here, and then we will try to get another encirclement going. If we can cross the rivers here and uh, encircle the northern flank held between held between Hungary and Yugoslavia, that should be good. And at the same time, we can start uh, we can start with the with the third army's mountain divisions to move in. And uh, encircle the remaining American defenders here. Okay, tanks are moving uh, moving on ahead, and we'll just have to make sure that nothing gets cut off here. But the uh, motorized infantry should be catching up there relatively soon. 
So there we go. And then it's just a matter of clearing that out. And we can already push from the other side as well. Uh, mountaineers are getting through from the south here. And then we'll clear up the remaining defenders. Oh, they have, they have some way out here still, uh, because that's not held by Hungary. So we do need to make sure that we are, uh, that we are breaking, breaking through this position, ideally. It looks like uh, we're actually struggling to break through that position there. So in that case, try to assault the exhausted Americans. That is a bit unfortunate, because I was hoping that we could break through here. But of course, it is across a river attack uh, into these uh, brave Indian defenders. And... Uh, mountaineers have already cleaned up, so let's cl uh, let's fix the uh, let's fix the mountain division's front line. There we go, and uh, the mountain divisions are going to get a new offensive line towards. Oh no, they they still have that. They still have this. Okay, so uh, armored divisions making their way across the river. Very low supply here, unfortunately. But uh, Germany is now joining the fray as well. So now we will we'll try another push uh, into... We'll try another push into the... into the not, not quite yet encircled defenders, unfortunately. But we have... Uh, we are very low on supply here. So let's get all the... Uh, let's get all the tank divisions onto that front line. Uh, to clear that out. And the mountaineers can continue can continue their push into the uh, into the weakened defenders here around Banja Luka, and then uh, we will move south towards Split and take care of the Americans that have just landed in uh, in the port here. So that's happening. Meanwhile, uh, tank divisions getting there. We we are very much out of supply here. And uh, where is the next supply hub in this area? Um, okay, Novosite is the, like, is the next supply hub, but I think that is... Yeah, we have to wait for some of the supply hubs here to get connected for in order to make this happen. And let's get the, let's get the mountaineers down south. Let's make sure we are pinning the Americans in the port while we're doing this. Uh, tanks can assist with that while they're here. Uh, just to make sure that uh, these guys are not escaping. And uh, we have actually taken the port, so we might... Uh, we have actually beaten these Americans, so they have just been overrun completely. So uh, that group of American divisions... I don't know where it went. I think they've been overrun pretty much. But uh, have cleared that out. Okay. Uh, can we collapse... Can we now try to collapse this collapse this uh, this line here uh, it looks like not quite uh, despite the fact that we have oh actually they have brought in significant air power okay you know what um, I am going to hold off onto that for now then and uh, we, yes they have brought in they have brought in significant reinforcements in the air so uh, we will not be wasting how are we looking? How are we looking in the air? Uh, yeah, we're starting to take, which is starting to take quite some significant losses. We have shot down a lot of enemy planes, but the losses are starting to mount a little bit. Um, how's my how are my fighter wings looking? Uh, though that is workable. We'll leave it. Okay, we'll we'll keep contesting for a little bit longer, and uh, we will just uh, we will just wait first uh, for. Yeah, we'll have to wait for some of those troops to leave because and for, for us to get some supply here. So, uh, as I said, I would like to have all my armored divisions on that particular front line. I'm not sure what the problem with it is, but uh, let's redraw the front lines. Armored divisions, please uh, clear out the north. And the mountain troops are going to continue uh, on this side and I would like all mountain divisions on that can I please there we go okay 
all mountain divisions. And I would like to continue opening up the territory for Germany here. So uh, let's do that. Let's get them in place. And we do have to wait for... Uh, okay, we now have the armor in place finally. So let's, uh, let's have another go. And see if we can push them out from these positions here. While we have the aerial superiority. There's a tank division. And then I think, uh, this is all very hilly here, then I think we will uh, redirect the tanks across the northern hills towards Belgrade with the goal of capitulating the, capitulating the Yugoslavians. Uh, unfortunately we can't encircle and destroy these divisions here because, uh, another British operative, uh, because the they have an escape route and we can't, uh, we can't take it, uh, the Germans can't take it in the north. But uh, that has significantly weakened their positions already. Let's see if we can just push towards Dubrovnik here. And we are going to get the mountain divisions. That's too long of a front line for the third, honestly. Um, let's shorten it a bit. And just push through the central, uh, through the central area. Okay, uh, we are about to push them back here, and we've actually overrun a fair amount of them, so that's good. Which means the first, uh, which means the first army's tanks, as well as no, the tanks, as well as two, three, four, five, six. Let's take seven. And excluding these tanks because they're over in France are going to... Uh, actually, that is a first army front line, is it? I think that is. Let's see who's assigned to that. Um, not these tank divisions, although they're probably on the way now anyway. Uh, let's get the mechanized infantry on that. And I was actually wanting these tank divisions. Um, here because uh, once again uh, the allies have taken Marseille and uh, we might need to do something oh uh, Italy has just been rev oh oh um, that is not good okay let's uh, where have we been pushed where have we been pushed back to um, no not not you you need to you need to head back uh, here but these divisions uh that is not a good position to be in so let's move back out and uh, see if we can make our way our way back to friendly lines here because rome has just fallen so let's see if we can make our way back here and because i do not wish to i do i do not want to lose those ideally and that's uh i'm not sure where that naval invasion even happened i didn't see anything uh it must have been allied divisions at some place so let's see if we can let's see if we can get our tanks uh, our tanks safely out of here and reconnect uh, reconnect to the Italians in in Rome. Yeah, Italy has the tendency to fall. Yeah, Italy gets naval invaded every five minutes uh, and has the tendency to fall very very quickly if you're not paying any attention. So uh, let's just uh, try and get out of there. And uh, see that we can see that we can. Actually, we don't need to all, go all the way to Rome. We just need to go here and make our way back to the Italian lines after having been cut off. Uh, Germany, you may want to move your troops out of that. And I am going to delete that front line first, lest they return. <laughs> but uh, that was not what uh, that was not what we had planned. I think the the Allies are quite busy sending divisions uh, th uh, through the Mediterraneans, and Italy is just. Uh, utterly failing in trying to uh, in trying to defend itself. I have even sent them um, I have even sent them uh, sent the material, but uh, they have some divisions. I'm not sure where they're positioned. And Germany seems to be not uh, p working particularly well in actually uh, in actually defending Italy. So we'll try if we can get our tanks out of here. I very much prefer that to be the case. Uh, they are sending they are sending divisions south now to stop us, uh, especially a Turkish tank division that I do not want to necessarily have to deal with. But uh, we'll see if we can fight our way out of this one. And that'll teach me to position uh, to position uh, troops in in uh, Pal in Palermo, 
but uh, okay, uh, not uh, uh, Naples is actually uh, Naples is actually uh, not a good path. Let's see if we can get around them. Rome has been retaken, so Germany is countering this. But uh, we'll try to push north and uh, see if we can see if we can make our way out of there. Uh, how much? Okay, let's get uh, let's get some close air support here and uh, get me. Get me fighter as fighter support over Italy as well, and we will ground the rest of the air force uh, for now, uh, just to make sure we are getting those tanks out of there safely. So I would prefer for them not to be not to be cut cut off if I can manage, and we should now have aerial superiority. So uh, we do have to fend off that uh, Turkish tank br brigade there, but we should be able to get around them hopefully before we get cut off anywhere and move past the defenders. We are very much out of supply right now and I almost think I have to... Okay, uh, I'll, I'll tidy this up and uh, rescue my tank divisions and then we'll be back with the Yugoslavia offensive. Okay, the tank divisions have fought their way out of here and uh, uh, can now can now reside on the front lines and uh, actually encircle Naples. I have brought in two, three tank divisions from the north and uh, I think I brought in three. I just see two right now, but that's fine. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start pushing them back and uh, once, once more destroying them. Okay, uh, actually just help with Naples here. And uh, we will be pushing the allies back towards uh, back towards Palermo again. While we have, do we still have green air over Italy? Uh, we do. Lots of enemy fighters in the air, but uh, we'll maintain green air in Italy for now, and uh, just push back the allies once more towards uh, towards Palermo, and destroy all the allied divisions here. I'll be back when Italy is once again liberated. It's a bit of a race, uh, and uh, Germany isn't really helping here because they constantly get, uh, they constantly lose the uh, front lines against the against the Allied uh, tank divisions here. So it's a bit of a race trying to save the Germans in Calabria. At the same time, uh, we constantly get uh, okay. I'll, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna try to save the Germans in Calabria, and at the same time uh, reconnect my my lines here. And uh, see that we can see that we can uh, destroy the Allied divisions because Germany tends to uh, tends to leave holes in the lines quite quite frequently, and there's a fair amount of enemy divisions here. So this is actually noticeably more difficult than it should have been. And yes, we are fighting obviously in the mountains, which is not an ideal terrain. Okay, we have managed to reconnect our lines. Uh, I am going to start the assault in the north, and once the uh, once the heavy tanks are here, then we are going to start the assault here as well. That should clear that up. Then we'll take care of Toronto. Ger the German troops in Calabria now have supply again, so they should be able to hold against the Americans trying to cross for over from Messina. And uh, then we will deal with the rest of them here. Meanwhile, how's this looking? Um, okay, can uh, since we're here, can we please retake Marseille? And then we'll get back to... Ah, there's another invasion at La Spezia. Uh, then we'll get back to... Um, then we'll get back to Yugoslavia. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get... Uh, we're not going to get a um, maritime control over the Allied territories in Northern Africa. Uh, we're still, for some reason, holding... Um, holding, holding this area in North Africa. But, uh, well, uh, stranger things have happened. Anyway, uh, tanks are now in position, so we can begin the cleanup operation. We have obviously once again lost the positions here. So let's do that first, reconnect, and meanwhile the three armored divisions can push through uh, to Toronto, clean everything up and sort that out. Uh, yeah, I think Italy is going to become a... is going to rapidly become a never-ending sink of... Um, 
of problems here and we have actually uh, naval convoys here I do not wish to actually sail supply convoys through the Mediterranean if that's avoidable so please let's not do that because we have no naval supremacy here and uh, yeah it's gonna be various gonna be various allied invasions actually they've landed a fair amount of troops near Marseille here if I'm gonna be fair let's get some more divisions on and uh, are now where are they trying to naval invade oh at Trieste yeah uh, they are constantly naval invading in the Mediterranean so that's going to be a bit of a drag but uh, we'll clear it out and uh, hopefully once Yugoslavia is once Yugoslavia is taken care of then uh, this is going to start looking a little bit a little bit less a uh, little bit less difficult and yes they have landed in they have landed near Trieste so I do need to take I do need to take my um, I do need to take my first army divisions here, so not the mountaineers. We'll leave the mountain divisions here. Um, but uh, I just want whatever I have left in the north to please uh, drive over and clear out Rijeka. While we are here destroying... Okay, the heavy divisions can already make the crossing happen towards Palermo. And then... Uh, we should have been we should be in a, in a good position okay uh, I might have to bring some of my defensive troops just to hold the lines here because this is starting to get uh, functionally irritating very very quickly and it looks like uh, Germany and Italy have different ideas about who's holding which territory so uh, let's, let's retake the positions here uh, because Germany is is struggling at this point to defend all uh, to defend all the Axis territory. This uh, this is getting cleaned up. Yeah, uh, Germany is uh, struggling to defend all the Axis territory. So we might have to bring uh, some of our uh, bring some Third Army troops south just to hold the lines here, especially in, around Italy, where we're frequently getting invaded, and significant Allied losses in Brindisi, while the uh, while we are pushing the Americans across uh, towards Messina, and then uh, we'll clear up, we'll clear up Palermo, and we're going to get the tanks here to return uh, and assist as well. And I will send some troops. I think I will have to station some troops near Rome because that's where they seem to be uh, frequently invading. So I'll bring some Third Army Infantry Division south, and we are about to clear. We are about to clear um, Rijeka, which is held by some Turkish troops at this point. And then we will re-establish. Yeah, Germany has handed over control of Zagreb to the Italians for some reason. So, uh, unfortunately, the supply situation here is less than great. Uh, I think we are just a supply position of Novo Said. We might actually send the... We might actually take that before we continue with, uh, with the offensive operations here. Okay, yes, uh, we've pushed across to Messina and now it's just a matter of cleaning up the American divisions that are uh, that are on the island and uh, securing it. Okay, uh, Italy is once again under our control. I have actually started stationing some uh, stationing some divisions here, some infantry divisions, to uh, make sure that they don't get uh, constantly naval invaded. And uh, I am positioning because we do need to take the uh, we do need to take the uh, 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 Novi Sad we do need to take the position in Novi Sad here. So we are going to send the we're going to send the river assault divisions across the lines, and uh, we will try to take that position. Then we have the, then we should have supply in the region, and then we can uh, we can continue the operation because right now the northern flank here is completely out of supply, and unfortunately the little diversion in Italy has allowed the Allies to bring significant reinforcements in, which means once again uh, we will actually have to uh, we'll have to rearrange our lines here a little bit. In fact, I am going to get the I am going to get the mountain special divisions into a front line here. And we are going to give them uh, an opportunity to to push through with some. We can get some tank support in, in in the south as well. So maybe I can get. 
I've positioned them a little in the rear just so they don't uh, they don't get onto everybody's way. Maybe we can get two uh, two tank divisions here as well with the goal of just taking the port. I don't necessarily want them to uh, to have large large front lines or anything. But uh, let's get that cleared up. And then we can actually. What's going on here? Um, oh, uh, Germany has taken over Bordeaux. Okay, yeah, um, they are negotiate. The rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, members are negotiating constantly about territory. So I do have to be a little on the lookout to see what's going where. And uh, I'm not sure if Germany has actually launched any kind of offensive operations here in the north. It almost looks like. But they haven't gotten very far because we literally have no supply in the north and my supply lines here are um, very much overloaded i think i am constructing uh yeah i'm i'm going to i'm going to improve those still but uh right now uh let's focus back on where we were okay uh, Novi, uh, Novi Sad has been taken and we have control over the supply so now where are we going to move next uh, we could just close since we're here and since we've got the river assault divisions here we could just uh that's 12 yugoslavians that's a fair amount but let's see if we can make that happen and we'll just send uh send some tanks in here as well to support that and uh, encircle encircle them here in this little river uh, river crossing because this triangle is uh, is extremely frustrating to uh, to operate in. So we'll send some uh, we'll send some divisions to take that down. That is 14. What are these? Mostly oh, these are from the Russian Federation. Yeah, I said uh, the the Russian Federation is going to become a problem relatively quickly. And uh, I actually I think I do have my air force still over Italy. Yes, I still have my air force over Italy. Uh, they are just busy grinding down, um, grinding down uh, Allied planes, because they have got about three thousand fighters up in the north here, and it's just too much to operate on. Okay, Germany has caught up, so uh, we will, uh, we will just push north and then finish off the re uh, the remaining, uh, the remaining positions here. I just want this area cleared as much as possible, so we can start, so we can secure the supply hub, and we can start, um, we can start further op offensive operations in Yugoslavia. And I think we actually already have, uh, yeah, we already have have the position here. So let's uh, assault there, and then uh, we are going to leave the tanks behind and see if we can. Uh, see if we can take the if we can take the reinforced mountain positions here. At the same time, uh, attacks are still running in the north. We're pushing through the Russian Federation troops here, which should not be too much of a problem. And then uh, we'll be we'll be securing the north. Uh, we've overrun some troops, so that should have been that should have been a bit of a loss. Yeah, uh, not too many, but uh, we have the. We, we now have the, the river triangle here encircled, which means that they no longer have any chance of getting out, and that should secure the uh, position we have in Novi Sad. And how is our southern operation running? Okay, we've taken, uh, we've taken the position here, and uh, Germany hopefully is going to Germany hopefully is going to follow this up. So uh, we'll get the mountaineers to launch the assault in the north. And then uh, to clean up the uh, encircled divisions here. And here I believe we have dealt, uh, yes, we have dealt a killing blow, which means now I can start uh, reorganizing the front lines. We still have some hilly territory and then the plains of Belgrade. So I'm going to try and send the first army troops through the, the lines here while uh, working with the mountaineers in the, in the ranges here trying to... Um, trying to cut off uh, re the remaining allied forces and Italy hasn't been naval invaded I believe that's going to be the, no the new meme to be honest <laughs> how many times have it has Italy been naval invaded but uh, Hungary is expanding and we uh, we are pushing Yugoslavia back how far is Yugoslavia towards uh, towards capitulation 
uh, Yugoslavia, mm, 39%. So still a little bit of ways to go.